Hi all, it's Brandon. Uh, thank you for joining me on another EdTech review. Uh, today I wanted to show you a product called Planboard, and that's by uh, Chalk.com. It's actually something I've been using over almost the past three years, uh, planning pretty much every single day of my lessons, and uh, it's pretty awesome. Really neat interface, keeps me really organized, and uh, a great way to stay on top of things as well as share and uh, export my lessons as well. Um, so if you go to Chalk.com, and uh, they have a variety of different products, but today we're just going to look at Planboard. And uh, with Planboard, you're able to plan your lessons. So it's their tagline is lesson planning made easy. Uh, once you log in, you can set up a free account. Um, there are additional options if you would like to have a school license. There's things you can collaborate with, but I'm just going to show you the free account um, that I'm using. And uh, with Planboard, you're going to log in, and it's going to bring you to your daily page. Now, mine's already set up. Um, it took me about five minutes at the very most to set up my whole entire schedule, add the standards, add all the lists. And uh, when you first log in, it brings you to your day. Uh, so I'm teaching my classes, which I have up here, and I have my lessons in there as well. Um, we're in exam review, so it's kind of a limited lesson right now, but we do normally have a lot of different stuff. Um, you can put videos in your lessons, and there's my prep. And uh, you're able to do quite a, a lot of features. Uh, once your lessons are in, there's some really cool things that you can do with them. You can actually save your whole lesson, so I can share this lesson, and I can either print it, I can save as a PDF, or I can email it. So if I'm away, I just hit PDF. And what ends up popping up is a PDF of the lesson. So I save that off, I can send that off to my department head, and he's able to see what I was doing that day. To edit a specific day, you can just click on a lesson. So I'm just going to click on my chemistry, which I'm working on right now. And we're doing chapter six review. I want to show them this really cool YouTube video, which is playable right in there. So I'll just play a small section. And uh, you can do a lot of things. You can add links, you can add text, videos, all sorts of cool features that you can add inside. Under the options, you can copy the lesson, you can move it, you can shift it a day back or forward in case you get lost, and you can do those sharing features there. Uh, what's really great, and I love this feature, is you're able to upload a file. So if I'm at home working, I can click upload, and I'm going to upload the grade 12 review, so exam review grade 12, I click open, and it's going to upload my file, and it appears down there. Once I hit save, it's actually saved there, and when I'm at school, I can go log back in and I can access this file and I can download the file again. So it's really great. You can actually keep that file there. It stays in there. It becomes yours. It's not uh, shared unless you want it to be and I'm able to keep that document there. So as I go through the day, I can add things in. I can add the page number. So page 365, questions 1 to 5 for example or whatever you'd like to do uh, and then hit save. What's really great is you can also do a week view. So this is just a different week to show you an example of some more content. Um, this is the week of March 29th and it's a good Friday. You can map in holidays. And what's really great, I have all my information in there. So guide to planet um, Earth and uh, talk about parallel versus series. We have a VROC call happening here. I can click on this circuit lab. So if I want to know a bit more about my lesson here, I can click it and there's my circuit quizzes that I wanted to print. Um, so they're there. Um, I can go through and see different types of uh, documentation. There's TED end videos. We're talking about parent teacher interviews, and it's all there. You can also do a month view, um, a unit view as well. Uh, when you're in your setup, it's actually pretty cool. You can do standards, so you can add in curriculum. So I had the grade nine curriculum added. I haven't used this feature as much as you can see. I've only completed nine of 90, but uh, trust me, I've, I've gone through all of it. Uh, but you can go through and you can upload different standards. It's set already with the Ontario curriculum. So for example, if I want, I can go into this lesson here, which is grade 10 uh, applied science, and we're doing an optics review. So I can click on that lesson. And I can add a standard. So I can search for my standards. So I can type in optics and search, but you have to actually click on the SNC2P. So what that's going to end up happening, I click on this and it's going to show my standards. So in here, I have my nose property of light and color. So I can add that properties of light, understanding characteristics of light and refraction. So I'm going to add that in as that's what I'm working on uh, today. So I just hit done in my standards there. So it's a way just to track the standards that are in there. Uh, it's, I really like it as I'm able to share things. I can have my lessons all organized in PDF in one place. And uh, through the unit planner, you can, there's other things you can do at the top. I can hit planner, which goes to a uh, weekly view. Um, or you can do day, month, or the whole unit. Um, into the settings category, I have all my different semesters for the different years I've been using it. And uh, you can add a semester, you can migrate a section, there's templates you can set up if you want to create a template. And there's a bunch of different settings where you can have letter cycles, days, if you're odd, even, different things like that. So to add a semester, 
I can create a new semester to ask you for the semester name, when it starts, how many classes I teach, is it one group, do I teach all the days, and I can go forward with that. So I'll let you experiment with that and check it out, but again, I love PlanBoard, it's something that's really easy, it keeps me on top of my game when I'm planning, and uh, everything's there, I'm able to log in, it, instead of having a bulky binder, I can get that in there. So uh, PlanBoard's been great, I highly recommend it, and um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and that is PlanBoard, so you can check them out at chalk.com or planboardapp.com.